As the sun set down on this Friday evening, we start our 34 kilometer drive into the further ends of Katonga Wildlife Reserve. Tracking Statungas is the most challenging activity in, in the wilderness. It's like tracking gorillas, like tracking chimpanzees. The Statunga challenge is part and parcel of a trail of this cherished wild animal of the antelope family whose habitation is mainly such swampy areas. There are so many places you'll find where you can hike, move up and watch the swamp and watch in the middle of the swamp to see if any Statunga can come up. If you make some noise, if you make any movement, the Statunga will disappear. But not sure if our dinner will be served on time, if any, together with some of my colleagues in company of rangers from the Uganda mm -hmm. Wildlife Authority, had to partake of some of these very sweet berries within the wilderness of Katonga. These in Runyankole are called encherere, but in English they are known as berries. So we're just here out in the wild, just enjoying wild berries. A statunga like this has an average body weight of between 40 kilograms to 120 kilograms, with a body length of between 30 to 35 centimeters. They dwell along tens of kilometers across Katonga Wildlife Reserve. Now you can only see statungas very early in the morning or very late in the evening around this time. There is no other time you will see a statunga coming out. A statunga, this is a long horned antelope and its horns are spiral and you find it only in the marshes and nowhere else and this is an opportunity here probably today we may be able to see one we are now ascending up the ladder which is about 15 meters so that we can have a vantage position to view the statunga one up there is an element of creativity by the uganda wildlife authority on how a tourist can view the Statunga as they move out of their habitat in such swampy marshes below at dusk or dawn. I can tell you it's just awesome here. We are waiting for the Statunga. And it's amazing to be away from the city and be in a tree like some monkeys. <laughs> I, I purely agree. My friend. I've been up in this tree many, many times waiting to see the Statungas. It's a challenge to reach here, but it's worth it, and I never get tired. These improvised logs that are supporting our planned viewing of the Statunga can, however, be made better according to our lead guide. You can get heavy metals, strong, you construct them, then you create a platform. Someone climbs here, you assume you are like, you are like in a tree, but meanwhile you are standing or seated on heavy metals. It can be a very nice viewing platform where for a long time people can always come to see the statues. And while some of us wore our jungle boots on this swampy excursion, with pitch darkness setting in, how we shall trek back to our camp is the battle of the mind. It was a rough, rough journey up here, right from the swampy area that you saw down right there. My shoes, I think, if, if you're to come here, really, this is not the best idea for you. If, if you want to enjoy your time, make sure that you have some boots. These shoes are for banqueting, really. I made that mistake. You shouldn't make it when you come here. Oende kwa wenzi yako wengini. When you come to the Sinchafo, you can see the Sinchafo. You can see the Statunga Trail. This is the platform of the This is one of the several many other ladders that you have to climb in the 35 km Statunga Challenge while you are at Katonga Wadef Reserve. Well, we've not been lucky today. We have not managed to see the Statunga, but I want to believe that one more trial, perhaps, very, very early in the morning tomorrow, we'll be able to find the Statungas. This is part of the game. Well appreciated. <laughs> well appreciated. Reina Ojon, NTV.